All right, everybody. Hello, my name is Evan, uh, aka Epic Shadows, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cartoony, glowy texture for your UGC items. So let's take a look at this. As you can see, it's like a, just a plain neon yellow. There's no shading there. I can show you guys what this looks like in game. See, it's just bright. That's the glowy texture that I've been talking about. Now, of course, it's not a true glowy neon texture. If you walk in the shadows, it looks a little different, but out in the sun, it looks really good. And of course, it's just really more of a workaround than an actual neon texture, but I think it's a real cool workaround. And i will show you guys exactly how to do it. So first, we're gonna open up Blender. Uh, here's a mesh I've already made a long time ago. So I'm just gonna use this. We're gonna take it from this old boring texture and we're gonna make it glowy. So. First, we're gonna need just a plain color texture, and that's real easy. I'm gonna open up Photoshop here. And of course, this little texture, I just made it plain neon red. Of course, this is pretty easy. You can do it in Photoshop, GIMP, Paint, whatever you want, really. Just make it plain, bright, whatever color you want it to be, and then just export it, export it as a PNG. All right, let's get that, you can close Photoshop. And then we'll go over to materials here on the right. Click on this folder and click on our new texture. Very nice, as you can see it's all red, but there's still shading. So let's change that. We want to go to add in the top left here. We're going to go to mesh and we're going to go to plane. All right, move this plane above the horns. Then we're going to go to add. And we're going to go to light and spot. Move your spotlight up here. Perfect. All right, click on your horns. And go to this little wrench icon here, the modifiers tab. Add a new modifier and we're gonna search for data transfer. Click on that. All right. And you'll see all of these menus here. You click on the eyedropper tool and then click on the plane. Alright. Then we're gonna check face corner data. Open up that tab. And then we're going to click on custom normals. All right, and you can see things changing here. Now, before you leave this page, click on this top right arrow and apply. All right, great. Now you can go ahead and delete the spotlight, delete the plane. And then before you exit, make sure you shade this smooth or shade smooth by angle. Don't want this to be flat. All right, and then go ahead and export this. We're going to go to file and go export. We're going to go to OBJ. Let's do OBJ. Make sure you select it only. All right, once you've got that exported, you can go ahead and open up Roblox Studio. Just an empty experience will do. And then click Import 3D on the top. Click on your OBJ. All right, you'll see it here. And as you can see, it's got that glow texture. There's no shading on it, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now, if you've made UGC before, this is all the info we need. Uh, but if you've never made UGC before, I'll show you guys how to actually turn it into an accessory that you can publish on the website. So you want to go to Avatar. You want to go to Rig Builder. And let's just make a block avatar. Right, and let's, let's position him in the center position our hat in the center and what you're going to want to do is position your hat on this avatar how you would want it to look so I'll rotate it bring it down all right that looks pretty good so you're going to want to get two plugins and I'll show you them and I can link them in the description below for you you're going to want the UGC makers kit and the asset creator so we'll start with the asset creator. Click on accessory. All right, click on your hat. And then click on the rig. And we'll keep it on a hat because I'm doing a hat. Do classic. All right, and we're done. We can close that. And you'll see your hat appears up here. If you click on the explorer over here, you can see it's actually an accessory class. So that's good. I um, want to click on that and then we'll use the other plug in here to make the thumbnail. So this is what your hat's going to look like on the Roblox website when other people are viewing it. 
can move it around, change things. Just position it however you'd like. Looks pretty good. All right, and before we finish here, we can go ahead and test it to make sure that it works properly. So we're gonna click on our hat, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna paste it into our rig, and it should automatically be positioned on the head here. And that looks right, so. Now we're ready to go ahead and save it to Roblox. So right click on your hat in the Explorer, and click Save to Roblox. All right, name it whatever you want. Give it whatever description you want. Click Avatar Item. I click whatever it is, I'm doing a hat. Choose your creator. And you can add tags and stuff. So you can do like neon, red, I think there's horns. I already did this beforehand, so I'm not gonna click submit, but you would click submit and then publish it. And after you do that, it's gonna go to Roblox. They're gonna have to moderate it. That could take a while, it could take a few hours. But I already did that uh, earlier, so I'm gonna show you guys how it turned out. So let's go to my avatar here. That off. And here's the horns. Let's equip those. Reset. And here we go. Here are my horns. And you see they're bright neon red. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this educational. And I'll see you in the next one.